hi guys welcome back today I'm going to show you how to make setup for the exporting CAD and also I'll explain what are the settings you you need to keep it and you need to change it and also uh, I'll show you all the setting one by one okay so for making setting you can go to the file tab uh, click export down and on the option you can click the export setting okay then in this window you can make a preset so that we can always select in future so I'm just making export okay. so in this layer category this is for whenever we export any drawings from rivet to CAD that CAD you know in CAD we are just following with the layer color and line types everything right so in in this one we can manage all the things here all the okay these are model category and you can choose and you can rename it which layer you want because you need to check your CAD standard layer properties so in your company has a, a layer standard which example for the wall you have like a dash wall and the color will be yellow or whatever so that one you can just go to the wall here then I put a wall and if it's yellow you know the number for the color right you can check it in in your uh, AutoCAD the color value number okay so also this is projection and this is cut so you can just add the all the layer things here and whenever you export you'll get all this so your CAD standard will match with uh, your rivet export setup okay so make sure here you, you are choosing uh, export all properties by layer do not export override okay so if it's if you select by layer so whatever you did here it will give you exact line and uh, I mean exact um, layer name and also the color value okay so also we can make a layer standard as per your CAD layer standard okay so I'll explain that in next video detailed and how you can make it you as per your CAD standard and how you can import to rivet in a in as a setup so you can i'll show you here load layer from standard so you can just load from a, a setting file then it will automatically pick the all the standard layers and colors okay i will show you in next video for that so keep going watch and subscribe okay so so I think you all understand this so I'm just keeping all the properties by layer and that's all here so I'm going to next step on lines so I'm not doing anything on here because it's automatically gener generate line type as per rivet okay so whatever you did it here it will automatically pick in in cat okay even in pattern I I will I will leave it as it is because it's automatically generate as per the rivet okay so even text I'm not doing anything so I'll keep it as it is and for the color make sure you're exporting as index color because most of the CAD standard is related to, to index color so 
otherwise your ctv ctb it will not match with uh, any line types uh, from rivet okay so make sure you pick the index color then for the solid uh, these are for the 3d export i'm always using polymesh and for the units and coordinates make sure it's in millimeter it depends on your your project if it's inch or meter or whatever make sure you pick the the relevant um, unit okay and here the coordinate system so we have two types coordinate system one is project internal and then also shared one shared one means it's as per your coordinates okay so in, in i will make a video for how to set set up this shared coordinates and uh, the project coordinates and um, so i'll upload soon okay so i will for this one i will always use the shared one because if you have a shared coordinates in your in your drawing so whenever you export you will get exact coordinates in in cad also but there is one issue if you select any scope box or crop region for your view particular view then you export then you will not get the exact coordinates okay so if you need exact coordinate make sure you didn't pick any scope box or crop uh, region for the the view okay so make sure whenever you export to cad there is no crop region you, s you didn't select any crop region just untick all and no scope box okay then you will get exact shared coordinates if you need only okay uh, then for the general one and here uh, whenever you have the areas and boundaries uh, you can pick click this one uh, then you'll get a polyline for the hatch okay but in concept stage or i think pre-concept or concept then you'll you'll you need this option because in other states like a schematic onwards we don't have any like a color drawing or anything so i'll always untick this one so because i don't want to make more complicated lines in our drawing and here for non-plotable layers so it's automatically pick all the non-plotable layer in to convert into one layer so you can put different name if you want non non this is just npl so it's a non plot so if you need to change you can change as a different name and in option i'm always prefer hide all the scope box we don't we don't want to see the scope box and all the unreferred uh, all the reference planes i don't want to show you in cad and also all the unreference tag we don't want to show any unreference tag when we export okay and the preserve pre preserve coincidence lines if you tick it the thing is in cad you can see only one line but if it's rivet it's a 3d element so if you select if this preserve coincidence line you'll get all the lines whatever in the below okay below object i mean so make sure this is untick and here export option uh, you can choose which version autocad you want it okay so i'll choose 2010 okay then click okay so once you've done the setting if you go to the export and cad here and cad 
then you can see your setup is here so if you click the export setting that means your setting already pick here you can see you can go from here you can check your setting it's everything fine see you can see so once you done the uh, settings you will you just need to select the preset from here the setup then you can choose the whatever you want to export then just next then select the folder then make sure this is untick because it will it will be as a like if you have any links or anything on your drawing it will be separated as a external reference so make sure it's untick and you can rename it if you want or make short so it will automatically pick the just name the drawing name and the number only then click ok so that's all on for the export um, setting export to CAD setting and I think you understand that uh, for the next one if you go to the export DWF if you need to export DWF you can just export DWF click here then this thing you just need to select here and on the DWF, DWF properties you can these things just keep it as it is don't worry only one thing here on the print setup so on the print setup it will go to our normal pdf or print setting okay make sure you select the relevant sheet if it's a1 uh, if it's a2 or a3 just make sure you select the exit uh, uh, the setting okay then i'm just selecting uh, for the a1 setting then you can include if you want anything on the other on things and just next then the last for the saving so you can just save so you can choose here uh, multiple file and even in export to CAD you can choose many multiple file so in one click everything will be ready okay so regarding the um, layers standard creator I will show you on the next video how you can make it the layer standard as per your CAD standard then how we can import into our uh, reward and how we can set up okay so in next video i will explain that okay thanks for watching uh, subscribe see you on next video bye bye